So today what we're going to do is install Magic Mirror on a Raspberry Pi Zero. So welcome to Techno Dad Life and my name is Jeff and in our last video I showed you how to make a Magic Mirror with a Raspberry Pi 3B. And I have this Magic Mirror it's designed for a Pi Zero, but there's actually no official image for the Pi Zero for Magic Mirror. So what I did is I found a unofficial image uh, by someone named Emmanuel Contreras, and you all know I'm bad at pronouncing names, so I'm just doing that. Uh, so what I'll do today is I'll show you how to get that up and running on a Pi Zero, so then you can also run your magic mirror on a Pi Zero. So let's get started. So first thing we want to do is go to this EmmanuelContreras.com how to create a magic mirror 2 with a Pi Zero. Then you'll scroll down halfway down the page and get to the part where it says if you want to skip all these steps I've created an image file. Then go to where it says MM Buster 55 2020 image gzip and click on that. And then you want to click download on this. And it has this strange way of downloading where it gives you a progress bar, but you don't see anything down here in the browser that it's downloading. And so what will eventually happen is that will show up and then you would click download or transfer and then it downloads somehow through the web browser. But anyways, it's a strange way of downloading. Once that's done, it will be in your downloads folder. And then next what we want to do is insert an SD card in our computer. And then we need to clear that. And then we're going to burn that image to our SD card with Bella Anna Etcher. So first open up SD card formatter and then type in a volume name and then click format. And yes, and then OK. Next, we want to open up Bella Anna Etcher. Click Select Image. Click on the MM Buster 55 2020. Click Open. Our SD card is already selected, and then click Flash. Once that's done, you can click Close. And so now we have our SD card up. And so the next thing we're going to do is right click and click New, and then Text Document. Type in SSH, and then we're going to go down to the search box. Type in Notepad, open up Notepad, and then we're going to copy this, and then you put in your SSI ID of your router and your password. Then click on File, and then Save As. The file name will be WPA underscore supplicant dot config, and then you're going to put all files. And then you're going to save that to your SD card. Now, if we look at our SD card, so there's the SSH. So we can SSH into our Raspberry Pi Zero and the supplicant file, which will, which will make it so we can use the Wi-Fi right away on our Raspberry Pi Zero. Next, you're going to right click on boot and then eject. And then pull that out of your computer, pull out the SD card, and stick it in your Raspberry Pi Zero. So this is the Vilros Magic Glass Mirror, which is designed for a magic mirror. And on the back here, it has a slot. So it comes with a slot on the back that you just open, and with the cables to attach a Raspberry Pi Zero. And then we're going to take our SD card that we just formatted and put it in there. Tuck that back in. And shut that. And it has an on off switch here. So you just turn it on and we'll start working. And you can just barely see because this is so reflective, but the, the Pi is booting up. Now, if you want this magic mirror, I'll leave a link in the description to the one I bought. So while this is booting up, let's get ready to SSH into the server. 
So right click on the start menu and then click on PowerShell. Next type in SSH pi at raspberry.local and then hit enter and then log in as Raspberry. So now we're into our Raspberry Pi Zero and we can see right now it's actually starting up the magic mirror script. You can't really see anything. Oh, it just started here. Let's see if I can get it so it shows up here. You can see the lettering there. And there you can see it has the time, which is incorrect. And then it says, hey, you look sexy. And then it has the calendar over here. So let's start fixing things so then it's how we want it. So the first thing we're going to do is update Magic Mirror. So we want to change directory Magic, magic Mirror. Then we want to type in git space checkout space dot and then hit enter. Next, git space pull ampersand ampersand space npm install. So this will install the new version of Magic Mirror. Now this is going to take quite a bit of time, so time for a cup of coffee. So once that's done, we're going to now update the Raspberry Pi OS. sudo apt-get update and then sudo apt-get upgrade, hit enter. And this is another one that will take quite a bit of time, so time for more coffee. Okay, so other things that you might want to change. Type in sudo nano slash boot slash config, uh, config text, hit enter, and then uh, tab down to the bottom. Then at the very bottom, uh, type in display underscore rotate equals one. And so what this will do is rotate the screen from here to here. So if you're hanging from a wall like a mirror, then it will be in the right direction. Then hit control X and then Y and enter. Next, we want to type in sudo raspy config and then hit enter. And so there are a few things we can change here. So one, if we want to change our password and then go down to password and then hit enter and then put in your new password. And that's been changed. Next, go down to five and localization and then configure for your time zone keyboard and country if you need to change it. Finally go down to 6 advanced and expand file system then hit OK and then we can finish that and yes to reboot. So now basically we're all done with the basic configuration and so next would be going into the JSON files and changing the font size and uh, changing the different things that actually go on the screen too. Now if we look at the mirror now we can see it's restarted, it's top down, and so it's working. And so that's how you set up a magic mirror on the Pi Zero. So that's it for today. Hope you found this helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. And a special thank you to all my patrons who without your support, this channel would not be possible. And if you haven't already, please think about supporting the channel you love. Thank you.